Hey, Shalom. Uh, praises to you, how about Shem? You how shy about Shem Uh Much mercy to you, brothers out there. You know, teaching this new covenant, um, understanding you how shy, um, believing on him and his agreement, which is the new covenant. The new covenant and you how shy they are one, and that's what this is. This is about. Um, after you come out of this wide gate these synagogues and these these corrupt churches you will understand that one thing these all these things have in common is that they're all denying Yahweh Shai and his covenant you know all these wide gates um they're not making it understood that you have to um understand and accept Yahweh Shai and his covenant so that's what this is about it's all about Yahweh Shai and uh the brother read and I read yesterday the Holy Spirit is going to glorify your house shy. If you're not glorifying your house shy, making him understood and, and bringing his mysteries out, then you're not of the Lord. You know, you don't just uh, the Lord don't just free you out of these camps so you could just be uh, on your own shit, on your own renegade shit. You have to get to your house shy now. After you're free, after the Lord frees you and has mercy to get you out of these camps, you're going to understand that your house shy is um is the main topic. Uh, just like Paul had to realize that uh, Paul was in the synagogues prosecuting uh, the believers of the new covenant. Actually, that's what this was about. That's why Stephen was stoned because. Stephen was teaching Yahweh Shai, which was that new covenant the Lord brought. And that's why our Lord was put to death, because he was teaching the new covenant. He was teaching the new laws. So once you get out of these synagogues and once you understand by studying, because all you have to do is understand the Gospels and the Gospels. They're all about Yahweh Shai. They're about um, what he brought. And the Lord brought mercy for us in these last days. He brought mercy for us. And um, one of the things, too, I want to I want to say, too. Yeah, how I said, like I brought out before you, you brothers know, I mean, you brothers and you sisters, you know, already. But you how I said that these guys, let me read it real quick. Matthew 23 and 20. Um, they worry about. Uh, the outside of the cup uh, being seen as something uh, being exalted they do all their works to be seen of men what you have to understand is um, what Yahweh Shai brought was something inside of you so to understand where the Lord is, he's not going to be out there in temples made with hands and broad gates where everybody is. This is a, one of the biggest mysteries in the scriptures. Therefore, if you're part of these camps, groups, wide gates, there is no possible way that Yahweh Shai is in there. Now, Yahweh Shai is in you. Like we, we've been bringing out the Holy Spirit was was born within a few like a, a, a few brothers have that gift in them. You see, the few brothers have that gifts in them uh, from the beginning. You know, when they was born, the Lord was, uh, 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 they were born with the gift of faith. And this is something you have to understand. Um, when the Lord, when, 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 you, when it's all said and done, and when you understand what these groups were set up for, then you're going to be upset. And you don't owe anybody anything. You owe the most high everything. And the gratitude for for getting you out of these wide gates and getting you out of a trap. Uh, when you go to Jeremiah five, the scripture tell you that our people there they are traps and they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Uh, one of the ways that they overpass the deeds of the wicked is that um, they are, and and right now what they're doing is they're trapping guys. And not freeing them to Yahweh Shai. So they're trapping you to the old laws of Moses. And they're not freeing you to Yahweh Shai. That's what guys are doing. Which is really wicked in his time. And uh, Esau. He's not able to do that. So he sets up Jake to do that. That's what Jake is doing with these broad paths. And these synagogues. 
they have to teach you certain things, but the new covenant, the new heart, uh, Yahweh Shai, really understanding Yahweh Shai, he has to be glorified. Uh, that's You're not going to get that out of these groups. They're going to teach you everything else except that. And, and what's heavy is, yeah, they're going to show you a lot of things, but those things are just to keep you from Yahweh Shai. Now, the thing about Matthew 23 and Luke 11 and all the times he was uh, cussing out these scribes and these Pharisees, you got to understand that Yahweh Shai knew that these men that were sitting on high seats and that were praised and that loved to be seen by men. Matthew 23 and 5, but all they works they do to be seen to men, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms in the feast and the chief seats in the synagogues. What Yahweh Shai understood about these guys, he understood that when you're sitting on these high seats and everybody is honoring you and all this shit, you're corrupted up there. So he didn't have, he he called they as a generation of, uh, of vipers. He called they as blind Pharisees. They were blind guys. So basically Yahweh Shai didn't have no respect for those guys sitting on those high seats. This is what you got to understand. Um. A lot of guys just coming out of groups, they still have like that damn group shit on them still. You got to get out of that that group mind frame. You got to get into the mind of Yahweh Shai, which the mind of Yahweh Shai is having that new heart. And you got to abstain. You have to rebuke every types of wickedness. So it's wicked for guys. It's real wicked to teach guys that they're Israelites. But then on the other hand, deny the savior on a, on, on the same on a, on the same note you're denying the savior and you're denying that new covenant he brought but it's okay because guys say you're they call you israelites and they teach you some prophecies but then on the other hand they're denying the savior that's what's happening so you don't owe these elders and these guys sitting on these high seats and these chief priests and all that you don't owe them a goddamn thing man you don't owe them shit you you all the Everything who you owe to is your Howard Shai because he got you out of that situation. It says, it says, and greetings and markets and to be called rabbi, rabbi. Guys like to be double honored and, and being greeted like they're somebody. But really, but really the whole thing about these guys, they're nothing, bro. They're nothing, man. They're nothing, bro. They're, they, they're set up as uh, traps. And they are snares for our people in this time. And guys think uh, they be looking at us that we um, are just talking shit or this, that, and the third. Man, we have become stronger since we separated these synagogues. All you brothers and you believers out there, you you have n become nothing but stronger in the knowledge of the Lord, in the spirit of the Lord, and in the faith of the Lord. That That's what this makes you become. It, it makes you strong. And that this is part of the truth that they don't want you to make it to your house. That's why they teach you the old laws of Moses. Now, according to the scriptures, those scribes and those Pharisees, they didn't hearken into the new covenant of your house. They rejected it. Just like right now, the majority of you guys in these camps, you ain't camps where they they reject the new covenant. And then they try to tell you you're approaching some shit which that's really reprobate. That's really reprobate. See, see, it's really no answer. Once you understand Yahweh Shai in the new covenant and you understand what these guys are doing, it's really they really don't have an answer for us at all. They don't have an answer for the Holy Spirit. They could just act like, oh, yeah, we're approaching it. So you have guys cornered like rats and you got to get out of the mentality that you owe these elders something. You don't owe them a goddamn thing, man. You owe everything to Yahweh Shai. Now you have to glorify you how shy in this body now because he have given you uh mercy he showed you mercy now you have to uh, uh glorify him now because he got you out of these groups uh jeremiah 5 and 26 for among my people are found wicked men they lay wait as he that set his snares they set a trap and they catch men see when you teach the new covenant and you teach brothers to get to Yahweh Shai, you're not teaching them to get to a synagogue or a group or a camp or not even to us for say 
You're teaching men to get to your hour shy. And this frees you. You see, guys are trapping you. It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich. That's these guys. They become great because they're full of deceit. One of the major ways of deceit is teaching this truth, um, not exalting your house shine in the new covenant. So when you go back to Matthew 23. Yahweh Shai was cussing their ass out. And all through the uh, Gospels, Yahweh Shai was cussing these wicked scribes and these Pharisees out, which they were set up uh, with the Heredians. The, the Heredians were Edomites that were over the churches, which our people had made deals with, and they're still making deals with them today. So all these camps and these groups and these synagogues, they're of Satan for the simple fact they're denying the covenant, talking about you're waiting on a covenant. Now, if you're waiting on the covenant, that's like you're waiting on the spirit. So these guys are teaching you all this knowledge and all this shit. But you're not in the spirit because you're waiting on the covenant for your house shy. You see that? Jeremiah 5 and 28. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. What they're doing when they're not exalting the new covenant, they're overpassing the deeds that Esau could do. Because Yahweh Shai is the only one that can, that can forgive you for sins. Yahweh Shai, Esau doesn't, does not have that power to do that. Only Yahweh Shai does. So by them overpassing the deeds of the wicked, they got you denying Yahweh Shai and the sun and, the, and your power. And that is overpassing the deeds that anything what Esau could do. All the shit that Esau is doing on the planet, this carnal shit, killing and raping and robbing and murdering and all that, that's nothing compared to guys being set up getting you to deny your savior in these days. That is very evil. That is very evil. So when you come out of these camps and these groups, you have to be thankful to your house shy. You see? Yeah, we don't have no respect for these guys because what they what they're doing. Yeah, they're teaching you a bunch of shit, but then they're getting you to go off at the most critical and the most uh, heaviest point. So going back to here real quick. Um, yeah, I wish I brought a heavy covenant. Which now, since... Brothers is understanding that the gift and the spirit is in you. It's not outside in no groups or none of that. It's in you. The new heart is in you. He will give you a new heart of flesh, which that heart of flesh is going to be in certain brothers. And that is going to that that right there gives you access to the spirit. And then by brothers teaching certain things and bringing out certain things that brings you back to the remembrance that you were in the spirit. You see. So that's what these guys don't want you to do. They don't want you to re really remember who you are. So what they do is they teach you a bunch of knowledge so you don't remember yourself. And then and, and that they tell you that we're not in the covenant yet. And that's a lie. That's a lie. So you brothers that's coming out of these groups or, and you brothers getting out of these synagogues, you got to get to your house shy. You know, this ain't about you and what you like to do or you. It's about Yahweh Shai. It's about you explaining him. Therefore, if you're not really teaching Yahweh Shai and his covenant, that means you're not of the Lord. And you will see it. It's not that many guys teaching the Lord like that. It's not. It's not that many guys uh, glorifying Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai instantly told Peter to feed his sheep. And he told him that three times. Now, it was a reason why. Yahweh Shai told Peter to feed his sheep three times. And brothers, brothers say, you know, the scriptures say we're saved by grace and we we're saved through faith. And it's not of works. But if you're of Yahweh Shai, you have to glorify him. And why did the Lord tell him, feed him three times? Because you really have to teach Yahweh Shai because nobody else is going to have Yahweh Shai. Now, Peter was second in command of the church. That means that Peter, he was close 
to Yahweh Shai. So he told Peter to feed him three times because by him understanding and being close to Yahweh Shai, you have to glorify him as much as you can. You can never go far enough. Matthew chapter 23 and 23. Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, faith. They have omitted discernment, love, and the belief in Yahweh Shai. This is what they have omitted. These art ye have done and not to leave the other undone. So if you're in these camps, you're omitting believing in Yahweh Shai, which is the new covenant. You're omitting love and you're omitting discernment. One thing in these camps, you have all this knowledge, but you don't have discernment. That means you can't really uh, discern who guys are because uh, the scriptures is against a respect of persons. And you're only in a respect of persons if you're in the spirit of the world. That's why what's heavy about it, too. When you come out of these groups, you're going to have a better discernment because you're not going to be around guys that have a respect of persons for, for elders and, and guys and superiors. That's wicked. When you understand, when, when you fully understand and when you fully grow in the spirit and you understand shit more and more, you're going to see that all these groups are wicked and the ones that are ruling over these groups they're wicked too that's why this ain't about no group or no camp or no synagogue or why gate it's about you getting to the lord uh second edges it tells you that one man has to go at a time that don't have to do with no groups see that's why like when you come over here to us few brothers we're not having you uh join anything you you're getting to the lord in the spirit that's why the Shai told Peter to feed my sheep three times. So in a way, your works really matter. Your works really matter. And if you have the Lord in him, you're going to exalt him and teach him. That's why he said, Peter, feed my sheep. Feed him Shai, not the shit of the world. Feed him the new covenant. Feed him the mysteries of me. And right now we're 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 cracking the codes on a whole lot of mysteries. There's nothing outside of you. Everything is inside of you. Your heart is inside of you. The spirit is inside of you. It's not in everybody. It's definitely not, not in wide gates or groups. It's in a few. And this is something that you must understand. And uh, I can't get enough of this, man. I can't get enough of it. I love it. Uh, I know exactly what I'm here to do. I know exactly what you few brothers are here to do. I know exactly a lot of you brothers that's out there that believe and you sisters. This is what we was here for, to believe in the Lord. And, it, and it's not like something of the world, like where it takes a lot of people. The most important thing, you know, if you're not teaching or or if the Lord, if that's not in your lot to teach or whatever, is you believing in the new covenant in your house. You don't even have to do a single video. As long as you believe in the right thing. The Lord will be with you. Hey, the, the Lord said, whoso believeth on me. And one of these little ones, it, it was is 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 it is uh it, it's better if a millstone wrapped around his neck. So all these guys in these groups, they got a, a millstone around their neck because they're offended of the little ones. They're offending the little ones because they are denying it how it's shy. So these guys in these groups, they got a, a, a spiritual millstone wrapped around their fucking neck they like to use that shit stones and just like that stone that they put in front of the cave in matthew 27 that's what these guys have been set up for is to block the sailing of the elect by telling you you're waiting on the covenant therefore when you're waiting on the covenant that means right now you're not in the spirit that means you can't discern you don't have no love right now you don't have no faith right now you don't believe right now that's what they're doing to you that's what they're doing to you. So when you hear these guys talking about approaching some shit, they're putting a spell on you, man. And they're using the Lord's name, too. So it's high level deception. Matthew 23 and 25. What do you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites? They're actors, man. For you may clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisees cleans first, which is within 
the cup and platter, that the outside of the cup may be clean also. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, and hypocrites. For ye are like whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but within are full of dead man's bones are all full of uncleanness. And you can see these guys, their countenance ain't right. They're not right in the inside, but they have all this knowledge. You got to know the difference between a lot of knowledge and when somebody's in the spirit. Somebody's in the spirit is just going to tell you, get right to the point. These guys that have all this knowledge, they go around the point. You're not approaching shit. And all you guys that's in these groups, mark every word that we've been telling you. Because things are coming to pass, bro. Guys are getting the fuck away from these synagogues. These synagogues ain't nothing but wide gates. And they're worse than churches, bro. Because they're specifically designed to get you to deny the covenant and trap you in the mind frame. And they got you in the respect of persons. Therefore, you're not able to discern who's good or bad. You're just looking at it like, oh, this is my elders. Yeah, that shit with uh, King David and Marshall, we don't believe none of that shit, bro. We don't believe that shit because the Lord said, don't worry about genealogies and shit. Don't worry about that. Don't don't even that that that's like what they're doing is going against the scriptures. You see, actually, mainly they're going against the new covenant. So it just shows you how reprobate they are and how far away from the power they are. So the Lord said cleanse was first in the inside of the cup. That means that in the inside of the cup, you're going to have something inside of you. The few of us brothers, but for the guys that don't have it, they're going to be making the outside of the cup look like it's something. And this ain't nothing for us to be seen of men because uh, by us teaching the new covenant, man, our life, we put our life in danger for real when you teach a new covenant. So like if you're not really glorifying your house shy, you're not really in the spirit. All right. Well, this truth is deeper than a lot of guys think. They think it's just about teaching scriptures and. Um, you know, just, you know, it ain't about, you know, if you get mercy to get out of these camps, you got to get to the Lord. Now you got to glorify the Lord. Now you, you really do where everything you got now, like, like we do. And I don't get, I don't never get tired of doing it. Going up real quick, Matthew 23 and five, but all they worse they do to be seen of men, right? Get out of the spirit of being seen of men. That's the spirit these groups are in. They, they, you got to see them go to the highways and the hedges. You got to see them on the camera because that's all they have. Because within them, they don't have the gift. They don't have the faith and they don't have the discernment. So they, they try to like play off of them being seen out there in something like they're of the Lord just by you seeing them. That don't make you of the Lord, bro. Uh, the Lord's true men, they're hidden. They're hidden gold. Like in these last days, that's the prophecy right there. Uh, uh, the Lord's men are going to be as fine gold. So he's hiding his men, bro. So when the Lord told Peter to feed his sheep three times, that means you really got to feed the sheep. And if he's in you, you got to feed them. Don't, don't take it for granted. Hey, the work the brothers are doing is beautiful. But remember, it, it is needed in these days. If you have your house shy, you're going to be spending his money. And that's what he told that wicked servant. He told him, hey, man, get up, get the hell out of here, you wicked servant, because you knew about me and you didn't take the money that I gave you, the little bit I gave you, and you didn't glorify me. And that's what a lot of guys are doing. They know all this shit about all these prophecies, but the most important thing, they're not glorifying the Lord. That means they're not of the Lord. So in these days, it's, it's, all, it's all about your house shy, more of your house shy. It ain't about us at all. Our benefit comes when we glorify your Shot. That's 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 how we get our benefit. You glorify your how your how shy, you honor your how shy, your how shy and the father that honor you in the heaven. And with that, man, I wanna I just wanted to say that and hey brothers, just keep doing what you're doing. It's a beautiful thing. Uh you cannot control the spirit, you cannot damage control the Holy Spirit, and you cannot stop the spirit. It is a force that cannot be stopped like, like a juggernaut, like the hawk. You see, all these comic books, these are these are uh, uh, things set up to, to let us know how we are in the spirit. You become unstoppable once your house shy is behind you. You know, and the angels. <laughs> hey, so 
Yahushai told Peter to feed his sheep three times. And he only told Peter that because Peter was close to him. And going back to Paul, so when you're close and you understand Yahweh Shai, you're going to glorify him. And just like I said, when Paul got out the synagogue, he got knocked off that horse. The only thing Paul was doing was teaching Yahweh Shai. That's the spirit you brothers need to be in. It's glorifying Yahweh Shai as much as you can. Because you're only doing it, it's just going to help you and it's going to help the church. And it's going to help brothers understand the Lord and it's going to get us out of here quicker. And with that, hey, man, hey, Shalom to all you brothers, man. Hey, Shalom. They look thirsty. Well, let's give them something to drink. To the cliff.